All right, let me give you a little bit of uh, an update. Following the last video when we went out to go and collect uh, soil from the forest, composted soil. So as we have seen, I unloaded that soil into some containers and then I kept it aside. Then I used that soil here, as you can see in these containers, uh, right there, that's sand on that uh, black tub right there. That's sand. I made some cuttings, placed uh, them in the soil here, this composted soil, and uh, also in that sand. So some cuttings managed to survive, some didn't uh, survive well. Some are in water, like right here, that's in water. Uh, some dried up, I couldn't keep up with uh, watering. So there are things which I learned here. Uh, when you are using a big tub like uh, those two, they will hold water for longer time than when you are using uh, seedling trays like this or seed trays like this this ones they dry up quickly so you can use uh, you can use this ones where maybe for succulents as you can see succulents don't need a lot of water so they die when you give them a lot of water like uh, right here you can see that this one died because uh, of uh, water lots of water so some died so watering needs uh, for your your seedlings and your cuttings differ right there uh, that, that that plant right there died because uh, the soil dried up quickly but succulents they stayed they survived because they don't need a lot of water and uh, even this ones they dried up so lessened lesson land here this survived okay this survived so most of them they they died here and then we have some in water like this ones they are in water but there are no roots they are surviving but there are no roots maybe next time i should just uh, plant them directly into the soil and uh, this is rosemary uh, it died everything died here i don't really know why so I'll keep leaning. This is uh, some quality uh, rubber plant, so I don't know the name quite well. I call it rubber plant too. If you know the name of this plant, I uh, can just leave it in the comment section. Let me know what plant is this one. I want uh, the names. And then there's uh, another succulent right there. So this succulents here, I watered them, but I didn't give them a lot of water. So most of them survived. I think all all of them yeah all of them survived okay most this one died here this other one died here i also have alloys some alloys here on the chibuku containers chibuku is a traditional beer made uh, here in southern africa so if you visit uh, southern, southern africa botswana namibia zimbabwe south africa so i think uh, you can get some I planted some here some cuttings here on the soil which contained this plant this plant uh, was uh, the, the the bulb was inside here I didn't realize that there were bulbs inside the soil so I just used uh, the, these containers just filled up with a bit of soil uh, from the forest and then planted these cuttings on top so they died but this emerged and uh, here we have a beautiful plant here so it's a win-win situation so I won and uh, some of these they died rosemary I think I don't have a uh, rosemary here we should manage to to take they all died and then I was testing out this uh, succulent here. I found it uh, behind my home here. Somebody cut it down somewhere and uh, threw it out. And I picked it. 
I picked it and uh, planted it so I'm gonna use it uh, some way I'm gonna use it um, landscape and this I took this from my friend it was just a few slits is it is it is it a slit just cut cuttings few cuttings and uh, I planted it here so it survived this one survived to two so you I can tell that this is a succulent by looking at uh, the leaves they are thick green leaves so it's a succulent this is uh, they call it uh, some call it a ornamental curry it smells like a curry plant the smell but it's not edible it's uh, for decoration is for landscaping and this can be found uh, in the wild also I found it it was uh, from my friend's place this I asked for for it and divided it was just one plant he cut it at the base and gave it to me he didn't like it because I said that uh, it uh, has some thorns and some stuff here it can be itchy if you rub it on yourself or if you fall on, on it so but I want to make a succulent area a place uh, to landscape with this plants which don't need a lot of water because we stay in a place which doesn't have water quite well the government is trying to provide us with uh, water but uh, there are some situations which are making the process to take time and um, during that time gardeners like us are struggling struggling so we have to move to the fields to, uh, to, to the farms now if you have a farm you are not using it uh, give it to me i don't have money to buy so you just give it to me so this is uh but the lord will bless me uh will have money soon i'll get a farm these are some it's an experiment right here I took some succulent leaves, placed them right on top of this soil. It's just the shallow uh, lid, container lid, placed some soil and uh, dropped uh, these leaves on top and kept uh, water in this area, uh, left it uh, moist the most of the time. So the leaves managed to grow uh, some roots bit of fruits and some leaves so the plant uh, is going to uh, grow from here as you can see it has started there's a bit of stem here with uh, some leaves so it's growing up like this at the same time producing and making some roots so it starts first with a uh, root development then it produces those leaves uh, those uh, that's them so it was an experiment it seems to be successful so uh i have to give this uh, a bit of sunlight and uh, just to keep the area moist but not very wet just moist because these are succulents that's a uh, peach cuttings peach cuttings so they died everything died there i have zero percent survival rate so I will try try to see what I can use next time. Maybe a sand like this will work. Something which never fails is a mulberry mulberry plant. This one is a plant which doesn't uh, die. Uh, it will always be successful if you make some cuttings with this. But be mindful that uh, cuttings which are this size and uh, bigger like uh, this they will take well better than these ones the smaller ones like uh, this they dry up quickly but this one they survive well this is guava it didn't survive i don't know what the problem was i will try again next time 
this is how we learn there are some here this one's also didn't survive i took them off here as you can see i think it's about a 30 percent survival rate so don't uh, give up when you fail in some of these things like here rosemary everything died here this is a learning curve we learn through these mistakes we learn through experience so keep practicing watch uh, other people doing this and then try to make some experiments make some adjustments this is i send in a container here with uh, some of these plants here so they didn't survive most of them so here mulberry again most of these uh, mulberry plants have survived so this can be a nice feed for rabbits goats uh, marole uh, chickens they can eat these leaves goats since they like uh, to eat some branches uh, some leaves twigs they can eat uh, every part of this plant so you can plant a lot of them in your farm or yeah in your farm and keep cutting and give to your goats when you trim these bushes you can give to your goats uh, you can give to your goods you can give to your rabbits so it's also a good plant again for shade there's a this is a, another plant here which i <coughs> planted directly on the soil this one is weak uh, it's weak too this one survived i love this one it's variegated so Pothos like this one is fascinating to me. I love this color. I need to have more of them. Sometimes you find that the leaf contains uh, more white than green. I don't know if they are albinos <laughs> or, or what. So I, I love those ones. And uh, another variety of Pothos. And uh, here again, these are succulents. I don't know the name. so. Can you please give me the name of this uh, plant? Is this cactus? But it can be cactus. <laughs> it's flat, so I don't know. This is a... Uh, Maybe it's a chocolate. Some call it chocolate, so I don't know the name of this plant. So I was just experimenting, but what I learned is that it's, uh, it's easy to propagate it. It's easy to make uh, cuttings with this one. So you just need... Uh, a stem of this size or bigger this one this ones uh, they dry up quickly and uh, they uh, they it's easy for them to to die or to dry up and uh, not produce or not to take but at the same time this one survived this one survived this one survived so it's a uh, they can survive if you give them enough water, but not too much. Just balance yourself. Rosemary, I ate, died. If you look at this, you will realize that I tried rosemary, many, many seasons of uh, rosemary. The thing is that I wanted to make a uh, rosemary, to, to use it as a hedge to landscape with it. Uh, it will give me two benefits i will have rosemary i will have rosemary uh, as has decorating landscaping with it at the same time i will keep trimming it and using uh, those trimmings i will dry it up and use it in cooking and also give to to the chickens and give to the rabbits so it's a beneficial it will be a beneficial bush rather than just a hedge which we don't utilize in eating which we don't utilize in cooking so i wanted to try that i wanted to also to use it outside to landscape with it uh, outside our home just by the screen wall just by the gate to make a nice uh, hedge there so people will just see it as hedge but i will see it is as a a functional one uh, also 
serving many purposes. So I will try to see. I'll try to make some cuttings again to, to see if uh, they can take. One other thing that I realized. One other thing that I realized is that uh, the mother plant also died. So I could have made uh, seedlings with a diseased plant. One of the things that you have to consider is uh, the state of the plant. You have to make cuttings from a healthy plant. So could be the problem. So I'm not going to give up on this. We also need some pomegranate cuttings so they took well one of my favorite plants figs so we have some figs here the cuttings i made them very late so they are, have taken well and uh, some are also uh, already making some fruits i don't want fruit right now i want them to make some branches and some leaves my grenade it took well it survived chocolate plant so this can be made uh, can be cut to trim it and make it a, 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 a small bushy plant you can also leave it to grow taller but it's a weak plant you can't uh, expect it to hold well during windy times because it will just snap off and may you fall on your car if you want to use it in as shade or fall on you so you just be careful with it it's a weak plant this is uh, some of the remaining soil here oh i also made uh, these cuttings one of my favorite uh, aloes this one is a uh, um, nice looking one so they differ I don't know the varieties yet but I know that they are different these two some people are using them um, making to make some facial stuff um, some what's this okay no, it's just an end pulling a stick. I thought this stick was a worm, just an ant. If an ant can pull something this massive, then you can also achieve all your big goals. This is an inspiration from ant, motivation from the ant. Some teaching survive here. So I also made some cuttings uh, from the grapes. So the idea was just to trim the the grapes, and I didn't have uh, time enough time to take these cuttings and regrow them. But I just left them here in what they survived. They produced some leaves. There was just some twigs. There was just some twigs with no leaves, so they have grown some leaves. I don't know if they will take well if I put them in soil. You can never have enough plants if you are a gardener. There will always be space somewhere for you to grow. One more reason for one more reason to look for a farm so that I can plant more, more. Okay, these are some of the mother plants. These are some of the mother plants here. I just wanted to give you that update and uh, hope to see you soon in the next video. Take time to watch other videos. Take time to interact with us on the comment section. Give us a uh, feedback and uh, also correct us where we are not saying correct things. We learn every day. See you next time. Thank you.